we are going to see how to create super realistic skin texture step by step with no steps skipped yo what's up my brother what's up my sister this is your boy oscar Ntegi again with yet another amazing video i had edited this particular image for a big print like a big a1 print so i did not care so much about how the texture looked because on a big a1 print really these textures would come out so big but when i posted this picture on facebook i got this comment this gentleman told me today that picture looks very very plastic because he was probably seeing it on his mobile phone now how do you add texture realistic texture on this particular image one we're going to create a 50 percent gray layer two we're going to create noise and then we're going to emboss that noise on top of this particular layer on top of this particular picture then we're going to begin blending this particular texture that we've created on top of this image ready let's dive into this before we dive into this video because please take a minute subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and of course leave a comment below what has resonated with you and let's dive into this now i'm going to duplicate this layer so that i work non-destructively now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to rename this texture yes and then i'm just going to come here and create a new layer let me press F on my keyboard just for me to bring back the menu bar. I'm going to come here and say edit fill. Then I'm going to say 50% gray. Just right there. And I say, okay, keep the blending mode to normal, pass it at 100, and then say, okay. So we're going to come here and say overlay. You can use overlay or soft light, but I prefer using overlay. Since we're using a 50% gray layer, it won't have any effect on the color. So even the texture, you do not have any bad effect on the color. So I'm going to come here and say overlay, just like that. So I'm going to come here into this layer that we're going to call texture two. So I'm going to come here and then the first thing we're going to do, we're going to first convert this particular layer into a smart object so that we are able to come back and you know work on those effects we reduce the effects and maybe increase the effects depending really on the size of the image so let's come here and right click onto this and then we say convert into smart object okay after of course making this texture layer you just come into filter you say camera raw filter just like that so once you open camera raw filter definitely some of your tabs are going to be open but you come into the effects tab some somewhere they call it fx but if you're using latest version of camera raw filter definitely you're going to have this as effects so you just click this down and you make sure by default if you've never used this you're going to realize that you only have this as green showing so what you do make sure you click this arrow in order for that thing to show up down or all the way through so you come and just increase the grain okay just like that then you come and increase the size of the grain and roughness so how rough do you want we want of course since it's a close-up shot we want the texture to be all tactile and showing so i'm just going to come and increase the grain almost to 100 then the size of course i want the grains to be big since i'm looking at the the image as a close-up then i want it to be extremely rough we can always come and adjust it that's why we really turn the other layer into a smart object so i'm going to come here and just have it like that so now when you look at this particular image it has this rough texture that makes the whole image look like she has ringworm we don't want her to look like this so what are we going to do we are going to come into filter we say stylize and then we just emboss this particular image so what i'm going to do first i'm first going to look at when you look at this particular image the light is coming from above so we're going to first change the light direction and then we make sure it is we relocate it coming from 90 degrees so that the light hits that those particular pores like following the same direction of the light so that we don't have it you know very very looking flat so we're going to come here and say we keep this height that is the height of how deep do you want those embossments to look so we I usually keep it anywhere between 1.5 and 3 but for this case i'm going to keep it around 3 then amount i'm just going to come and measure and regulate until i see that sweet spot where all the textures really come back you know actually i'm just going to step a little bit 
back so that I get the actual textures just like that perfect so now I don't want to have this texture everywhere so what am I going to do now the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to create a layer mask just right next to this texture layer so how do I do that I just come and click onto the this particular layer and just come and create a layer mask just next to it so I'm just going to click on to it and then press ctrl i in order for me to invert so that i just paint in the texture back so i just press ctrl i just like that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to get my brush tool right here by clicking and i click the layer mask then i'm just going to enlarge it and then i'll press caps lock in order for it to show because it has been off so and i'm going to come with my brush with uh, of course white on top remember black hides and white reveals so i'm just going to come and paint in this particular texture again just like that so let me reduce the opacity and flow so that in some parts i just build it slowly by slowly like that i do the same all over this area also here because of course I don't want the texture to be around into the eye areas so I still come and do all that in the forehead I bring back the texture that I had lost of course in the post-production bits all that then around this area as well of course as well here usually I don't like putting it around the ear area because the ears don't have that kind of texture I usually put it where skin is really visible so I paint it in just like that and now if if you want actually even to emphasize the texture more you can just come and duplicate you know that layer in order for you to have your that texture emphasized but i don't want to really emphasize that and i'm just going to come and put this in a group and then i'm just going to come and zoom just for you to see what we have see that's the before and that's the after before and after now what if we want to adjust and say maybe we don't want to have uh, this this particular texture too much loud so how do we do that you just come and you click on to these smart filters now like the green bit and you just say okay i don't want the size to be so big i just want to reduce the size and maybe i want also to reduce the graininess of the whole thing and you come in here and say okay see that's how you go on adjusting and that's why we do those smart we turn this into a smart object but basically that is how you bring back texture into an image now this particular last step is very very optional if you want now to create that tactile kind of texture where you want to feel like you can go all around it and emphasize this texture this is where you come and create a stamp of all the things you've done. Let me first delete this. You just come and press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to create a stamp of this image. Now, I'm just going to rename this tactile. Tactile. Then, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come here and say filter. Rather, I just come here, right here, and select into the adjustment layer and say vivid light the other thing i'm going to do here i'm just going to come here and say other and then you say high pass so what do i do here i just come and increase this until i see the texture come back just like that so that the, the 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 more i take it forward the more deep the texture gets and the more emphasized it gets so i just come and say i'll leave it at around 45 this should depend on the size of your image and then i'm just going to come here 
and then create a layer mask just right next to it. Press Ctrl I again, and then I'm just going to get my brush right here, and then I paint in this texture in these particular parts where I want it overly emphasized and deeper, just like that. Also on the top of the nose, like that, around this area, I still come do do the same painting like the way I did it, you see? Just like that. And then maybe around this area, just for it to blend in a bit. I'm not going to add it around the neck area because I don't want it to be and yes now there you have it that is how you create super realistic textures into your images and if you want to learn how i do high-end retouching from start to finish and if you want also to take your photography to the next level click the first link in the description below and join the retouching secrets masterclass where i unveil everything you need to know about high-end retouching from start to finish with no steps skipped this will help you save time that you would have spent on in the internet searching for the right techniques and all the steps you need to get great images so join this and of course become a great retoucher take your photography to the next level by next friday i'll see you in the next one and adios